What's up guys? Welcome to part one of the grapple hook tutorial series. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to set up a grapple hook component for your game. You will be able to equip this on any character and it will be modular to be easy to move to any project and add the component to your characters there. I provided the target texture that I'm using in the tutorial which you can download in the description if you would like to use it. Do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe so the algorithm will get the videos to the right people. Also I set up a discord for everyone to join to discuss issues they are having, ask questions, and all around talk about Unreal Engine and the projects you all are working on. So if you haven't joined that yet, come and join us. The uh, link is down in the description as well. Without further ado, let's get into it. First thing we're going to do is create a new folder our content folder so let's right click create a new folder we're gonna call that grapple hook system and then we're gonna set the color new color and set that to red just change the color of that so you right click set color new color and then set it to whatever color you want to set it to that way we can just tell that that's what that that folder is right off the bat um, so now we want to import our texture um, I did provide a link for the download of a texture and a kunai you can download those real quick just need to drag uh, the texture in to get that imported I'm gonna go ahead and do that Let me go into my grapple hook system folder drag that in and we want to open that up we want to change our texture group from world to UI and our compression settings. We want to change from default to user interface 2D RGBA. Go ahead and save that. And now we need to go ahead and set up our blueprint components. So we're going to go to right click, go to blueprint, cl blueprint class. We're going to do actor component. Gonna name this grapple hook underscore home. Oops, sure I'm spelling that correctly. Then we want to right click, create a blueprint class actor. We're gonna name this BP underscore grapple hook target. Let's go ahead and open that up. Make sure we're in the class default right here under actor tick in your details start with tick enabled go ahead and uncheck that compile that and save that we're not going to need that to tick every time only when it's going to be in our view so there's no point in having that um, enabled just will help with uh, optimization less resources um, and then we also want to create a, another blueprint class this time we want to go down to all classes hit the arrow if that's not drop down for you we want to type in cable get a cable actor select we're going to name this bp grapple hook cable hit enter and that should look like telephone poles after you name that All right, and then we're gonna right click another blueprint class, another actor. We're gonna name this one BP underscore grapple hook. Save that. So now we have our grapple hook, our end. That's where our kunai is gonna end up going. And we have our grapple hook cable. We have our actual target actor and we have the component. So now we need to set up the widget so that it can show in game when we play so user right click go to user interface widget blueprint user widget and we're going to name this grapple hook target underscore widget save that I just hit control s whenever it's clicked on it it'll save that and now we need to set up um, a way to be able to tell the difference between each one of our grapple states so we're gonna get a enumeration so go to blueprint 
enumeration. Name that E underscore grapple state. Go ahead and open that up and we're gonna add four enumerators. One, two, three, four. First one we're gonna name an active. Second one, we're gonna name firing. Third one, we're gonna name near target. And the last one's gonna be hit target. Go ahead and save that and close that. Now that we have everything set up, we're ready to go ahead and start adding in the code to get the system functional. Um, first, we're gonna get the target set up so that we can see our target on the map. So we're gonna open up the grapple hook component. And we're gonna use both of these. So just go ahead and leave these here. Um, first thing we wanna do is right click under our event begin play. We're gonna get owner. And then off of that, we're going to cast to third person character. I'm just using a standard third person blueprint for this. So if you're using that, that's what it would be. Otherwise it would be um, whatever your character class is set up as. And then we're gonna right click as BP third person character. We're gonna promote that to a variable. And we're gonna name that owning character and we're going to set that to private and then now we need to set up our tick um, so that we'll show the target that we're looking at choose which target is the best target to grapple um, so we're going to create a variable and we're going to call that grapple state and we're going to set that to e underscore grapple state we set up earlier and then go ahead and set that to private as well and compile and save um, let's go ahead and create a category on this and we're going to call it private and go ahead and drag our owning character variable up in there too. <sighs> uh, we're gonna try to keep the component as neat as possible. So we're just setting things up now as we're going. That way it's ready to go for us to just move stuff in. So we're gonna hit the grapple state, get, and then we're gonna drag off of that. We're gonna get a switch on E grapple state. We're gonna go ahead and connect that to our event tick. And then we need to create um, four functions, each one for each one of the states. So let's go ahead and create a function. We're gonna call this one an active. And we want to change the access specifier. We want to set that to private. Go ahead and compile and save. And then we're going to duplicate that. So just click on it, hit Control D. Now we're going to call this one firing. Go ahead and click on it again. Duplicate that one. We're going to call this one near target. Basically, we're calling it each one of our states. It's gonna be the, the same name. Um, go ahead and click off and then click on it again, control D, and then hit target. So now all these are gonna be set to private since we duplicated the first one. That's why we're just gonna go ahead and make all four um, at once. That way they're already all set up the way that they need to be. So we're gonna go back into our event graph now. So compile and save that. Go back into our event graph and we're just gonna drag in the functions to the corresponding state. So inactive, 
set there. Firing. Kind of see what we're doing here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Your target. And hit target. It's up a little bit better. Go ahead and compile and save that. So by setting it up this way, we can actually change the logic on each one of the states, each one of the grapple states we can change the logic on, which will make it um, even more customizable. You'll be able to change by each state, which you would like it to do and stuff just makes it more customizable for your game, depending on, you know, what kind of grapple uh, hook system you're wanting to set up. You'll have the options to be able to change logic in each one of the functions. Um, so we're going to go ahead and focus right now. We're going to focus on the inactive. Uh, so go ahead and double click on that. I'll click on your inactive here and we're going to go ahead and set an input. Um, we're going to name this targets. Uh, nope, I apologize. Getting ahead of myself here. Um, so right now what we need to set up is we need to set up a sphere overlap. Um, which is going to look for each one of the grapple targets so that it can actually pick up the grapple targets um, and tell us which grapple targets are within range. Um, so we're going to set up a sphere overlap. So right click and we're going to do sphere overlap actors. I'll go ahead and click that. Um, our sphere, sphere position is going to be our character position. So we're going to get our owning character. Going to get sorry about that I had to sneeze real quick so we're gonna go ahead and get actor locations so that it knows where our sphere is tracing from because we want it to trace from our owning character um, our sphere radius we're gonna go ahead and right click on that we're going to promote that to a variable and we're going to name this uh, max grapple distance grapple distance and we're going to set that to private go ahead and drag that up into the private category so that it's set in the private category as well and then we also need to set it up as blueprint read only because we only want the component blueprint to be able to read this. Um, go ahead and compile that. Don't worry about the errors right now. We'll get that set up in a minute. Um, so basically the reason that we went ahead and created a variable with this is now we can set our max grapple distance at any point. It's a variable for us. So once we compile, we can go in and change our max grapple distance. Um, I'm going to set this to 10,000. Um, might seem a little far. You can adjust this. That's why we're doing it like this. Um, you can adjust this at any time to set it whatever distance you want to be able to set it to. Um, just go ahead and compile and save that. Um, our object types, we're going to drag off. You make array. And we're going to leave that at world static. Uh, if you'd like to set your grapple points up on moving objects, you're going to need to set that to world dynamic so that it can be on moving objects. Um, anything that moves is a world dynamic. Anything that's going to be static or still is a world static. So we're going to set that to world static. And then we need to change our actor class. We need to change that to our grapple. So our BP grapple hook target. and then compile and save, and that'll get rid of those errors. So this code is saying, give me all the grapple targets inside of this sphere that are world statics, is what this code right here says. So from the owning character, everything within this 10,000 max distance sphere that's a world static is gonna pick up as long as it's a BP grapple hook target. So that's why we're setting it up with the uh, different blueprints so that we can have specific actors to pick up within our sphere overlap. 
Um, so now that we got that set up, now we're gonna make a function to loop to be able to constantly check this so that when we set up to find the best target, um, it's gonna constantly loop to check um, all the actors within that range to find us our best target. So we're gonna go ahead and add another function and we're gonna call this one find best target and we're gonna set that to private and let's go ahead while we're here let's go ahead and set a private category for all of our functions as well let's drag all these other ones up in there so that all these are private as well so that keep it nice and tidy here for us okay so now we're gonna add a input um, this is where we're going to add our e grapple state we're going to change this to an array targets no i'm sorry this needs to be a actor Type an actor, go down to object types, actor, object, reference. We still need that to be an array because uh, we're finding our best target. Um, so we need that to be a object reference so that it picks, or an actor ref, object reference so it picks up the actor. So this is going to search for all of the targets. And then we're going to do for each loop go ahead and connect that okay and then now we're going to right click our array element and we're going to promote to local variable make sure you're setting that to a local variable and we're going to name that current target local and the reason we're doing that is so that um, that's local to the component and we can use this variable name later on if we need to use that variable name and we're going to go ahead and set a local category also so that that's already set up and now we need to do a line trace um, to see if the character can see the target because right now we're tracing you know we're doing the uh, sphere overlap to look for the, the target but we need to make sure that the character can see the target so we need to do a line trace so do line trace by channel this out of the way we're going to connect this and the start will be the character so we're going to drag out the owning character get actor location again it's gonna be our start location and then the end location will be that current local target we're gonna get actor location we're gonna connect that to our end and we're gonna set the job debug to for duration um, and then our actors to ignore we don't want it to um, search for our, our character so we're going to drag in our owning character and we're going to connect that it's automatically going to make an array for that when you drag it into the array go ahead and compile and save that right we're going to go ahead and hook that to, ret to the return node it's not really going to do anything right now go ahead and compile and save that again um, we just want to go ahead and check and make sure things are working so that way if there's anything messed up you guys can catch it now um, so now we're going to create the target for uh, the code the code to be able to trace so we need to set up our actual target um, so we're going to go back to our grapple hook system folder now we're going to get our open up our bp grapple hook target 
Um, if yours is closed like this, go ahead and open full. All right, we want to replace this default scene with the billboard. So we're gonna add in a billboard. And then we're gonna take this billboard and just drag it over the default scene. Um, and then our sprite here over in the right in the details panel, we're gonna change this to our texture. So click on your folder here and just go to your grapple hook system, get your texture, the arrow, file and save that. If you go to viewport, you should now see that. And just in case you're interested, that is, uh, the Japanese kanji for target is what that is. I just took that and, uh, you know, put a circle around it. Nothing, nothing too major. Um, just something quick that I could do. Um, so now that we have that set up and we can actually go ahead and drag this onto our map. And the reason we're setting it up with the billboard like this is so that we can drag it out. our grapple hook target we can drag it out while we're editing the map if you push play as you can see you can't see that so while we're editing we're able to see it that way we can go ahead and place it and stuff so now that we have that all set up and that's working correctly we're going to go ahead and add, uh, create our widget component so that we can see it in the game. So we need to go to our grapple hook target widget blueprint. Actually, no, I'm sorry. We're going to add a widget component in here first. So we need to set this up widget component. And then we're also going to add a sphere collision okay so your widget component should be a child of your blueprint and the sphere component sphere collision should be a child of your widget go ahead and compile and save that now we need to set up our widget co collision as well as the collision for our sphere collision um, so click on your widget and over here in your details search for collision okay we're going to want to set this to uncheck generate overlap events we want to set uh, can character step on to no and then collision presets we want to put no collision on that and then compile that then go ahead and click on our sphere our sphere We want to do no on can character step up on and then our collision preset. We want to do custom on that. We're going to set up a custom preset on this. Um, and we want to set uh, our object type to world static like we set in our function. Um, if you are doing moving objects, like I said before, um, if you set that to world dynamic in your function, you're going to set that to world dynamic here as well. Um, and then our visibility, we're going to set to block. Everything else we're going to leave to overlap. Okay, now we can set our widget up. So we're going to go ahead and open up our widget. We're going to add a size box. And over here, we're going to click on our size box and over in the details panels, we're going to click on width override and height override. We're going to set these to 32 and 32. And if you go up here where it says fill screen here in the top right, click the drop down, go to custom. That's going to show us our 32 by 32 box. All right. And then we're going to add an image. So come up here, you can find an image or type it. Go ahead and add an image on that box. Go ahead and click the image. And then over here in your details panel under appearance, hit the drop down on brush. And we're going to pick our grapple target texture again. And we're going to put that right in there. Go ahead and compile and save. 
need to go back to our BP grapple hook target and we need to set the widget class to, uh, let's see here. So the widget class, where's that at? Where's that at? Class, widget class we need to set to our grapple hook target widget that we just set up. So grapple hook target widget. And then we wanna set the uh, draw desired size. We wanna make sure we click on that. It's gonna be under user interface so that it draws it at our 32 by 32 that we set up in the widget. So compile that, save. Now if you got anything down here that says unsaved, go ahead and click that, save all. Um, now we can add in some grapple points into the game again. So we'll get our grapple hook target. Go ahead and add some in here. There's something that's missing. What did I miss? What did I miss here? We need to set our world space to screen. Yeah right here, user interface space, where it's set to world, we need to set that to screen. There we go. So now, okay, and now we don't have that outline. So let's go ahead and drop a couple of these in here just to make sure that this is working. Go ahead and save that and play. And now we should be able to see them in the game. So as long as you're seeing everything, you know, as long as you're seeing these in the game now, then everything's set up the way it needs to be set up. Um, I'm gonna end the uh, first episode here and pick up where we left off in the next episode. If you would, hit that like and subscribe for me, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.